The two main ways to communicate with ChatGPT right now are voice and by typing into the chat box. For things like questions and like research, I tend to use the phone app. Let me give you some examples. How far is the sun? The sun is about 93 million miles away. This distance can also be expressed as about one astronomical unit, AU, which is the average distance between the Earth and the sun. At what time do trees release oxygen? Trees release oxygen during the day through the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis primarily occurs when sunlight is available, as it is driven by light energy. During this process, trees absorb carbon dioxide from the air and use sunlight to convert it into glucose and oxygen. The oxygen is then released into the air, mostly during daylight hours. At night, in the absence of sunlight, photosynthesis stops, and trees consume oxygen and release carbon dioxide through a process called respiration. What is the healthiest way to make coffee, for example, French press or filter coffee? The healthiest way to make coffee largely depends on how it's filtered. Filter coffee, such as that made with paper filters and a drip brew system, is often considered healthier than methods like French press or espresso that don't use paper filters. These are easy questions that I can run by the AI to get a quick answer. I can even continue the conversation and ask more questions until I arrive at the answer I want. For example, I could only remember one word in a quote by Napoleon Hill, and I asked ChatGPT to tell me the quote that used that word. The answer wasn't the quote I was looking for, so I asked for more until one of the answers helped me remember another word in the quote. And this way we arrived at the quote I wanted. I consider these a bit of light research or curiosity questions, and voice is the ideal method when doing this because it's fast and all we need is a simple answer. On the other hand, for task-based questions or instructing the AI to perform complex tasks, I prefer to use the web app or the desktop app, and I type into the chat box because I want to be able to think and modify my prompt as I build it. Throughout this course, I will be using the chat box, even for the easy prompts, so you can see the prompts and I can explain the logic behind them. Let's keep moving.